First off, my buddy Mike Devine, one of the great golfers in the history of Shorehaven. Uh, the the golf ball was smaller. British Open cost guys to go there. That's why Hogan would only go once. So the golf ball was smaller, and it was money and everything else. Now, Hogan stopped playing the PJ. so says Devine, after the accident because the match play was too hard on his legs, 36 holes at least the last day. So too tough on him physically. But I think he won the PGA once after he had the 49 accident, which would not make any sense. So that's the one thing out of him. Uh, my buddy Grant checks in. Uh, you may get the Leafs. Uh, but you will not get the Kings. So he's right about Sacramento. That's number two. So he say, our oh, buddy Grant. Grant Napier, of course, one of the great guys you're ever going to see. And Colin Russo, I have found a team for you. Get a microphone on him for him. Colin's in my house. I'm take, going to take him to the basketball games. You got a microphone on? Is he on? All right, who is the head coach of Xavier? Oh, jeez. Um, I actually know this one. Who is it? Uh, well, name me two starters first. I'm not familiar with ex- oh, Xavier. Xavier oh, jeez, you're embarrassing me. Come I'm on. sorry. All right, name me two starters at Ohio State. Uh, that's a hard one, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Colin, you want to be a talk show host? It's a mess. A mess. <laughs> a mess. I thought you wanted to be a... No, don't, don't show him, Matthew. I thought you wanted to be a talk show host. All right, I'm, I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, do you know that? No, no, you don't either. I got both my. You you, give me. I'm, I'll get a couple. You don't know who the. Uh, I get warmed up a little. Oh, uh, who's the head coach of the Portland Trailblazers? Oh, that's Stotts. Uh, who is the head coach of the Utah Jazz? That's. Oh, uh, that's not. Uh, I know this one. Come on, Kanye. Fifteen. How do you not know uh, this? Cute. <laughs> Um, Quinn Snyder. Snyder. Oh, uh, come okay. on. I knew that one. I knew that one. No, you didn't. I, I didn't. Know oh, who's the coach of the Mavericks? Um, Carlisle. All right. Uh, who's the coach of Phoenix? Oh, uh, that's the new guy. Um, I don't know the interim. Jay but... Triano. Okay. All right. Who's the coach of Toronto? Uh, Casey. All right. So you're not bad with the NBA. You're not bad. I'm better with the NBA. Yeah. yeah. Better. Uh, who's the manager of the Angels? Okay. Magic of the Angels, baseball. Uh, How do you not know this? Uh, you you know that I'm not good with the baseball, especially the general manager. So here we go. It's a manager. Here's a 15 year old. I tell you that they don't know the baseball. Chris, it's been the same manager his whole life. Yeah, he should know that. His whole life is Mike Sosha. Okay. Okay. That's fair. You should know that one. Okay. Now, why doesn't the young kid like the baseball? It's slow. It's and plus it's so you they bat you over the head with it because it's 162 games. It's all throughout the spring and summer, it's it's a lot, and I don't like following it because it's so long. Do your kids in high school feel the same way? Majority. They don't. Follow, they like the Yankees, don't they? Mm, now, now they will, but for the most part, they don't know how to break down a major league baseball game. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, if the Mariners were playing the Indians on Sunday night baseball, are they going to watch it? In Absolutely of, not. They're not going to watch it. If the Cavalier, if the uh, Nuggets are playing the Magic, are they going to watch that? Depending on the person, but probably not. So they won't watch that either. Okay. How about Blake Bortles? I thought you said you're going to get rid of him. You're Jackson. Uh, I, I'm okay with it because it saved $9 million in cap, so I'll live with it. But, you know, I would have liked Kirk and you, and you want Richard Sherman, right? Richard Sherman, Jalen Ramsey, and A.J. Boyd would make a perfect cornerback <laughs> group. That's it. And the guy, uh, did you get over? What was the line that you told your old man? And I bet the Patriots that day, the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. What would what, you tell your father? Uh, after um, Bortles threw those incompletions on uh, in the last series of the game when you blew that lead and you were laying there watching that, what did you tell your father? I'm done for the day. What, what was the line? Yeah, I said I was done for the day and I left. <laughs> Both you, son. Are you over that loss? A little bit. I, I still felt like they should have won and they should have, but, you know, you're, you're I, I, there's no more time for, for complaining. All right, so you can't complain. What else do you want? Uh, uh, how's your back? Collins had a bad back. Yeah. You're getting better? Yeah. yeah when are you going to play yeah. again? 2022? 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, how's Vince Carter doing? You're a main man. He's good. I mean, he's actually, like, playing well for the... For the Kings, but my guy, right? Yeah, that's my guy. Right there. <laughs> yeah, it's fascinating hanging out with a fifteen-year-old. Timmy, hop in here for a minute. Timmy, of course, at Tampa, who is the manager at the University of Tampa. First off, College of Charleston, 
won the NCAA, got an NCAA bid the other day. Did you know that? I did see that. Yes, they had a good win. They and were you down seven late, and they came back. And you could have seventeen, and you could have gone there, and I could have gone to the game and everything. Possibly, yes, Dad. Possibly. What, what happened? Why didn't you go? You would have followed me down there, Dad. You would have been there for the rest of my life. <laughs> exactly. I would have bought that condo. How, University of Tampa had a hell of a season. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sure, Dad. <laughs> what was the final record? I think in the conference we were like six and fourteen. And then outside the conference, we were 10 and 16, I want to say. That's, you should be better. Why was Tampa so bad? Uh, I, I, think it was, I think it was a mixture of things. Um, I, think we're, I think we're still really young. I think we still have a lot of young guys who still need to get some experience. Um, I think that... And Richard Schmitz, the head coach, who's 76 years of age, who called you Steve all year long. Yeah, right? and, yeah and then the last two games of the season, he called me Tim, which <laughs> was very nice. He, got, he, got it right. <laughs> he called you Steve to twist your arm. Yeah. You covered every... Did you go to every game? Yeah, every, every Tampa game. game. Every, every game. road trip game, every went to Barry, trip. every bus trip, everything. Yeah, every bus trip. Uh, the longest bus ride was Barry, which was about four and a half to five hours. Um... And the shortest one was Eckerd, which is probably about 35 to 40 minutes span. Right, and you went to, uh, and the one time that he was sick, Richard, you were on the bench, were you not? I was on the bench, yes. I was sitting next to Coach Pekka on the front of the bench. And yeah, you told him the timeouts? Yeah, How many I, timeouts I, I on that? The, I told Who was in foul timeouts, trouble? Foul trouble, I could track of turnovers, scoreless possessions. Um, scores off offensive rebounds, like stuff that's not on the stat sheet. So yeah. you figured that out. And you have a couple of kids on that radio, team who know Mad Dog? Who uh, listen to yes, the one yeah. kid does, right? Zach, yeah, yeah he's a huge fan. <laughs> a guy from Kentucky. Yeah, comes from, yeah, from Kentucky, yep. And the Tampa baseball team watches that high heat, right? That yeah, dopey show? Yeah, um, Zach, who's actually friends with a lot of them, uh, he said, you know that the Mad Dog's kid is the manager of the basketball team? He was like, oh, really? Who? And it took him a second to think about it, and he realized it was me. And I was like, no way. So then, you know, yeah. so the whole team knows who I am. And, yes. that, and uh, that that class was aware that Seth, he finally read a book after yes. 20 years. He yes. read the John Wooden book. Yeah. <laughs> um, my, um, and the class was, I uh, saw the Mike and the Mad Dog 30 for 30, did yeah, they not? Um, okay, very good. Yeah. They did. And they gave you a big ovation and everything. Did you get an A in a class at least? Yeah, I have a 101 right now. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even you can get that. All right, so that's good. You're doing well. Yes, then. And okay. you're home for a spring break. Yeah, I leave on Monday. Very I'm good. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Kind of get back in there. I'm upset with you now. I'm upset. Okay. Let's do a little tennis. Oh, no. <laughs> do you know tennis? As much as the... A normal person would know. Uh, as we fool around with the as we fool around with the microphone, boy, oh boy, I'll tell you right now, I am working with a bunch of. What are you doing with the? There we go. Get, get a little lower. Where, where it is. So we can hear. Yeah. All right. Uh, do your fan? Do your high school kids talk tennis? Absolutely not. Do they talk golf? No, no, a little even more, but, but not. even tiger, no tiger. Occasionally. Maybe. Do they know Tiger's playing this weekend and playing well? Playing well, no, but they know that he's playing. This they weekend. know he's playing, so they don't follow the tennis. They don't. Follow, they follow horse racing. Uh, maybe Triple Crown, may, Kentucky maybe, Derby, yeah, maybe those, yeah, but, but not, nothing not, else. Nothing else. All right, they follow college football. Yes. Do they follow college basketball? Yes. Do they like the NCAA tournament? That's when a lot of people really start to pay attention. They don't really pay attention during season, but, but they get into that once it gets going. That's NHL, right. any interest? Depending on the person, there's some hockey fans. There are yeah. some hockey fans, all right? Um, college football, you mentioned. Yes. NFL, big time. Hundred yeah. percent. Fantasy or the actual teams? Um. A mixture of both. There's a lot of people who are just big fans of teams, and then there's people who just watch it for fantasy. Any fantasy with Major League Baseball? No. So, basically, if you went to school, if I went into one of your classes on a day in May and asked them, give me the highlights of last <laughs> night's baseball, could they tell me? Absolutely not. No chance. Maybe a Yankee game, but that's it. That's it. If I went into your class on a Monday in October to ask to break down Sunday NFL, could they do it? Absolutely. If I asked them to break down the NBA playoff picture right now, could they do it? To a degree, yeah, mostly. They could. They know not, Golden not like the lower seeds in the East that are so But Golden State active, and Houston, yeah. they would be able to tell you who's... They, they know Houston's won 17 they, in a row? They, they know the big-time teams because those are really, on social media, just broadcasted everywhere. So, so they know the Rockets have won 17 straight? Yes. They do? Okay. They know the... Did they, they, they break down the Cavs trades and all that kind yeah. of stuff? Yeah. So the sport that you guys don't pay attention to in high school today is Major League Baseball? Yes. That's the sport. Yeah. It's They're, too boring, it's too slow, and the games, it's too long. Too many games. Playoffs, that's a different story. There are people who watch the playoffs, but other than that, no no regular season. But you guys do go to Yankee games. Yeah. Well, Yankee, don't, you have, yeah. The, don't you have an usher at Yankee Stadium yeah, who, yeah. who lets you come downstairs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he works at one of the places, and he's, just, and he's really cool about it. So he Fifth, might, sixth yeah, inning, yeah. he lets you go downstairs. <laughs> like the old days. Yeah. Do you slip him a little money? Uh, not usually, but... <laughs> 
If it's a bad day, then maybe. <laughs> bad day, but you don't slip up. Now, uh, we got into a big fight, you and I, the other day, because I wanted to talk about the old-time great NBA player, and you refused to put Bob Pettit, uh, West, Oscar, Wilt, Kareem. You did not want to put those guys on your top 10 all-time list. Kareem... I never said Kareem was not on my top ten. I think Oscar is as well, maybe. But what do you mean, maybe? People like Bob the... Pettit. Bob Pettit's not in the top ten of all time. I, I completely disagree with you there. All right, how about Elgin Baylor? You don't think Elgin Baylor is a top ten? Player? Very debatable, but I don't think so. No, and you don't even think Wilt's that great. I think Wilt's good, but I mean, you think Shaq's better or Wilt's better? I think Wilt's better. Oh, you do agree Athle- with that? Athletically, yes. All right, West or Kobe? I think Kobe, but you like West, but I personally think that. Kobe was just so dominant scoring that I'd, I'll, I'll give him the edge. But Wes is a better shooter. Wes was an MVP of an, uh, Wes was an MVP of a losing, se- a losing uh, w- team. What's his record in the finals again? <laughs> he played the Celtics for crying oh, out loud. Okay. What a nine, I, what a nine by like the way. like he was on like a random team. He was on the Lakers. He was on an, uh, an equally as good team. No, no, like, not equally as good. The Celtics had a million Hall of Famers. The Lakers. So did the Lakers. I they mean, had <laughs> Baylor and Wes. Oh, just Baylor and Wes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. All right, you think Russell's overrated? No. What, I mean, what was the quote you told me the other day? He's a six nine forward. Who, I didn't tell you that. You I didn't, didn't I, like Russell. <laughs> I was talking about Willis Reed, but you were talking. That's not Russell though. I was Willis about, Reed's an MVP. Was an MVP in the yeah, NBA? Yeah, but like I forget what we were talking about. But I don't. I thought Willis Reed was a little. You you really thought he was great. But I mean, he is, but he's just not as great as you think. That's what I think. You think West is better than Harden? Um, and right on. now, yeah, I mean, it's hard to gauge because Harden's in the prime of his career. So, I mean, I guess you could say later maybe he wins a championship eventually. But, but aren't you upset at Harden in the big game? He never does a thing. Oh, never does a thing. So yeah, you I do mean, agree with that? Yes, but yeah, I I overall I agree. I'm you not. know, yeah, I said this the other day. You know who is the after LeBron and Kobe uh, after LeBron and Dur- Durant? You know who's the best player in the NBA? Who's that? Who are you saying? Your oh, you brother's are- buddy. Uh, Anthony and, Davis. Yeah, I, I could agree that he's he getting is, injured. He gets injured a lot. He but is great. He's good. Yeah, but I mean, I I like Harden. I don't think he's should be within like that top. Well, you four were guys. telling me Westbrook the other day how much you love him. Okay, I'm telling you that Westbrook would dominate Jerry West, and even though Jerry no, West was wouldn't. five times in, in all the all defense, it doesn't matter because Russell Westbrook's six three and two hundred twenty pounds with. Pure athleticism. I mean, it's a different. It body wise, it's a different game. And you love Curry, correct? I like Curry. I you think, think he's the best shooter of all time? I do think so. Do you not think so? Uh, do you have he's R- the best. Allen ahead of him, or I put. I, I think there's a couple guys: Ray oh, Allen, I'll... Reggie Miller, and Sam Jones. You think so? Yeah. Sam Jones was on what team? Celtics. All right. Good. He's learning. We we'll take a timeout. We continue. May I do go? 